Welcome again, everyone. My name is Chet, and this is Chet Chat. We saw the Belko experiment. I was actually looking forward to this movie because when I saw the trailer, I liked seeing, you know, people get trapped and they have to do something to get out. And the thing that they have to do in this movie is they have to kill each other. A la Hunger Games, I guess. It's very Hunger Games-like. I don't want to say it's Battle Royale-like, but it's very Hunger Games-like. The Belko experiment is a story about these office people who work in a government building and they are pretty much locked up in this building and a voice over their PA system which they didn't know they had tells them that you need to kill X amount of people or else we're gonna kill X amount of people. Uh, letting them kill X amount of people is less than letting the people, you know, the, the, the PA system person kill X amount of people. And that's the whole premise of the story. Me personally, I didn't like the movie that much, unfortunately. I felt like, even though there's a lot of action and killing and stuff, I feel like it is not an entertaining movie. It doesn't, I feel like the movie doesn't move quick enough and it doesn't have good pacing. It just has these characters that you actually, like it's cool to see them get developed because of the situation, but I feel like it could have been developed a little better. I like that the trailer actually kind of tricked me. And when you see certain actors in the trailer, you're like, oh, this is the hero role. And then all of a sudden you see how they turn out. It's different, it's kind of cool. And they actually have a lot of like tropes that you would normally see in this situation. Like the guy who actually likes the girl, the guy who, who actually really likes the girl, and the girl who actually likes somebody, and you got the guy who was a conspiracy theorist, and then they even have people who are like ex-military and they know how to work it out. So they have so many people in the building. They have 80 people in the building, and pretty much hell ensues. I like the dynamic that they do with like who decides to do what, but again, like I feel like they're not using the characters to their full potential. I don't want to say anything because it is kind of interesting to see who does what. There's so many letdown moments in the movie, that's why I don't like it. There was like this one character where you see them struggling through the whole movie and you see that you think they're gonna do well and then it doesn't work out and you're like oh, come on man really everybody in my studio was like really come on what the hell and then the ultimate ending when you see the the, the thing happen and, and the person does the thing and then the movie goes like hey, 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 hey to you in your face and you're like, you know what, budge you movie, you you, you want to do this, you want to do this, fine, fine, screw you, hope you don't get a sequel, but I kind of do hope they get a sequel because I want to see it, but I don't think they'll have the numbers to warrant a sequel, unfortunately, oh boy, that's pretty much it, I don't want to say too much more about this movie, because there's very little to talk about, the acting is blah, the people are blah, the action is alright, the story is alright, the pacing is meh, and the ending is stupid. There you go, there's your review, you know what to do. Mm -hmm.